Greetings, Kettlebell fans and functional fitness fans. Today is Recovery Day 68, and uh, like I said, every day I'm feeling better, and I try to do something different. Um, getting back in the flow of things, you know, the strength is coming back a little bit, and then my my wound. I don't know if you can see it. You know, it's healing up a little bit. You can see the scar. I got one down here by the groin, about four or five inches, but. Uh, no problems with those incision wounds and uh, cardiovascularly making progress. So um, I do that uh, cardiac rehab three days a week. It's more like light to moderate uh, cardio for 40 to 50 minutes with five minutes of light weights and uh, doing the kettlebells and clubs twice a week and swimming once a week. Today I might go to the gym and do a spin session for 30 minutes, keep the legs loose. But anyways, today, um, at the end of the session, I already did about six rounds. Um, snatches, I was using between 25 and 44 pounds. And the squats, I'm going to go up to 50 on this last round just to see. It's the first time I've been using the 50 for anything. And uh, uh, what else? Halos, I've been using 15, 20, 25 pound club. So I'll have 100 halos in after this round, 100 snatches. About 50 squats and uh, I think it's about seven or eight minutes of planks one to two minutes a piece so this round I'm gonna do here I'll start off with the, the squats since that's my challenge all right Whew. the big thing has been working the, the flexibility in uh, my lower calf and in the ankle all right so if I can squeeze out five, that's four, right? Five, we'll get one more, make it six. That was pretty good, stayed strict. All right, next, halos with the 20 pound club. I've been using the 10 and 15 pound mace once a week. This is a lot easier. <laughs> 15 pound mace is probably like a 30 pound club because of that lever, long lever action. Just the physics of the momentum of the weight, harnessing it, controlling it. And you can see how deep it goes and how far I'm dropping it. So it's more cardio for me. It's not that strenuous. It's not really a mass building exercise anyway. It's more for the shoulder flexibility. Okay, that's good. Shake it out. Now on this set of snatches, with the 35, I try to get... Uh, a total of 15 to 20 on each arm. So I'll probably break once, switch hands. Two sets on this hand, two sets on this hand. Just to see what I kind of got in the tank right now. So it's kind of a beta test, right? Like I said, I warmed up with the 25 to 44. And that was about 70. That's progress. The most I've done prior to that was about 10 on that side. Whew. 
Slow and steady. Let it sit in that shoulder socket. Seven, so that's 20 on the left. Seven, 20 and 20. Progress. All right, plank. Two minutes here, especially after the snatches, your core is really activated. So, and a little bit of fatigue. So, do this for about two minutes. So yeah, I've been trying to do something different with each workout. Next week, I'll focus on swings, a little heavier, 50 and 55, two-hand swings, supersetted with burpees. Um, three days ago, in sets of six to eight, <laughs> I got 100 push-ups in with 200 sit-ups on the stability ball. I think I used a 15-pound club for the resistance. But anyway, six to eight per set with the push-ups. And we got 100, so that's a milestone. I'm like day 65 on recovery. So, like I said, progress every day. Not trying to overdo it. You know, work within parameters. Okay, so for today, we squatted the 50, controlled five or six reps, got in a total of 100, maybe 105, 110 snatches. All right. And I have been stretching a lot <laughs> to get that flexibility and range of motion back. So, thanks for watching everybody. And keep challenging yourself and be grateful for every day.